everybody, welcome back to another episode of Explore Lake Gasta with the PL team, our 22nd episode. Thankfully, we convinced Dad to leave the leaf blower at home today. <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, check out our last episode down here below in the corner. That was a fun episode. He has an issue with the leaf blower, that's all I'm going to say. Check it out. <laughs> So if you've been following along, you know that we love to explore Lake Gaston both on and off water, and today we're going to do just that. There are about 220 waterfront subdivisions on Lake Gaston, each one with its own personality, and they certainly are unique. Today our exploring will be at Ferncliff, one of the older and well-known subdivisions on Lake Gaston. Uh, we will highlight some of the unique characteristics of Ferncliff, and um, also showcase some of the beautiful fall foliage that we have here at Lake Gaston. Yep. All right, you ready? I'm Let's ready. Let's go. Let's go. That needs to go in the lake. It needs no, to go no, in the no, lake. No, no, no. Jutting out at mile marker 5 is the Ferncliff subdivision. And one of the most popular and commonly mentioned features on the waterfront among the local community is the Ferncliff rock with the giant chain going down to the water. So there are a couple different myths about the chain. One of the myths is that it goes to the plug on the lake and another myth is that the lake monster is attached to it at the bottom of the lake. I personally like to think it's the lake monster. We'd love to hear if you guys have any other ideas or stories about what you think is attached to the chain at the Ferncliff subdivision. Ferncliff was established in the 70s as a resort community of contemporary homes built with indigenous external materials such as natural stone, brick, stained wood, and wooden shingles. With about 85 homes in the Ferncliff subdivision, the homes range from elevated retreats with huge main lake views to rambling homes on sandy beaches with sunset views. The variety truly makes this subdivision unique. Let's go on land and check it out. So here we are on land at Ferncliff, and one of the first things that you notice as you drive into the subdivision is how integrated the homes are into the landscape. As you can see, they're located further away from the road and closer to the water, right where you'd want to be at the lake. As you drive through the Ferncliff subdivision, you'll notice these stone street markers which blend in beautifully to the surrounding landscape. Amenities of the Ferncliff subdivision include a community garden, pickleball courts, and a soon-to-be orchard and recreation area. Among other things, the orchard and recreation area includes plans for nature trails and a nine-hole frisbee golf course, which will be the first of its kind in a Lake Gaston subdivision. Thank you so much for joining us today as we explore the Ferncliff subdivision on beautiful Lake Gaston. If you'd like to check out more of our Exploring Lake Gaston videos, go ahead and check our playlist right here. If you liked the video and you learned something today, click the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel right here so you don't miss next month's episode. And until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you, you at, at the, the lake. lake. Bye guys. So Ferncliff's... <laughs> <laughs> Yes!